dried plants, roots and bark from trees. All natural and all important ingredients for traditional medicines used by healers in Cambodia. Rani consults one regularly ever since she discovered a cyst in her chest. I believe in traditional medicine. I think it's good for my health and it's effective. I do not use modern medicine because drugs contain medical substances as well as counterfeit products. Medically trained doctors though warn against being over-reliant on these traditional cures. So to make Kru Khmer, as it's known, more professional, the first traditional medical school has opened up in the capital, Phnom Penh. It was established in 2009, and so far, 345 students have graduated. I want to promote traditional medicine to help heal people, and because the poorest people in the country do not have enough money to go to the hospital or see a doctor, they prefer to be treated by a traditional healer. The course lasts five months and in addition to lessons in hygiene and anatomy, students take to the countryside to discover which plants have healing properties and where to find them. This training is much more professional than what students learn from their parents that has been passed down from their ancestors. They are taught many subjects, such as ethics, which they wouldn't know anything about otherwise. Traditional healers play an important role in Cambodia, where 80% of the population live in rural areas and where many can't afford to see a doctor. And now they are getting better training. The two forms of medicine, traditional and modern, can start to work side by side.